Hi, today we're going to be working on this uh, Samsung uh, Sync Master. Uh, what actually happens is um, you switch on your PC, you don't get a picture, you just get this message not optimum mode, recommended mode 1280 by 1024, 60 hertz. Okay, um, so this is not uh, pointing towards a backlight problem or capacitor problem. Okay, so uh, let's take it apart and um, see if we can find the problem. Okay, so four screws here, you remove those, that uh, holds in the bracket, you remove the bracket. <coughs> Another two screws here at the bottom. Okay. And then you will have to unclip the bezel, the plastic bezel. There are plastic retaining clips that clip along here. So you want to get something in and you just want to unclip slowly without uh, breaking any clips or breaking the actual bezel. You've got to be careful of that. You'll go all around doing that. Also be careful that uh, there is the wire which attaches the buttons over here. Okay, once you've unclipped it, what I suggest you do is just turn it upside down like that and just remove the back cover. Okay. A couple of screws around here which uh, hold on the, the back cover plate here. You'll need to unplug the buttons for a second here. Yeah? Okay, so this cable will go through this hole here and then you will just replug it to the board. Right. <clears throat> we'll not be working on the power board today, but we're going to be working on this board here. Um, according to the research that I've done, we'll be installing a mod on this chip here. Okay, and um, what do we need to do? We need to bridge these two top pins here, okay, with a um, resistor, 47 ohms, okay, uh, and that should sort out that problem, okay, so I've already got this in place, let me just solder it on. Right, so that that resistor is soldered on here. So um, I'm not sure what pin numbers this is. Uh, in the instructions that I read, they said uh, bridge pin number five and pin number six. But uh, I think uh, if your board looks exactly like this, it's it's the top right and the one underneath. Okay, so now that we've got that solder in place, let's see, did it make any difference?
And there you go. So, uh, installing that resistor, I thought of that issue out. And brought this uh, old monitor back to life. Easy fix if you handy with a soldering iron. And uh, even if you're not, definitely worth uh, definitely worth a try. Just make sure that uh, uh, you've always got the mains disconnected, just to be safe. Thanks for watching. Remember, there's always a fix.